I put all my mud crabs in the freezer to put them to sleep before we split them up, ready to steam them. They're still a bit feisty. We'll give them half an hour to 40 minutes. We don't want to freeze them. Just want to have them nice and put to sleep so we can humanely process them and then steam them. I'll we'll have a look at the, see how these crabs are going. Look like they should be pretty much pretty cold. No movement. Very good. Guys settle down as well. Do these little guys first because they'll be the coldest. Start off with three. That should get us off to a good start. All we're going to do here is split our crabs, give them a good wash, get the, the back shell off, this part off, all the guts and the gills off it. So we'll just have the meat in the shell and the claws. That'll be what we're going to go and steam. So first off, pull this back, back, the back shell off. Get your hand, thumb in like that. Off comes the shell. All the shells and guts and everything are all going to go in the compost. Uh, these are the gills, these feathery bits here. We don't want them. They don't taste any good. Split your crab in half. Most of the guts will come out like that. And then we'll just give it a good old hose. Hose it in fresh water like this is fine. Because the meat's all contained in the shell. And into our colander that we're going to steam the crabs in. Make sure you get all the guts out. It's those guts that give the crabs a bad smell when you're cooking them. Give it a little male one. Same again, off comes the back, these are all these feathery bits here, that's their gills, can't eat them, they come off, take out the mouth, split like so, get most of the guts off like this, get a pretty good clean go like that. Give it a good old tub. One more little one to go. Doesn't take long to split them like this. These little guys are a little bit easier to get off. Mouth out. Gills off. Split it in half. Very important to make sure you haven't got any mud left on the actual outside of the shell. You don't want any mud in your in your crab. All this calcium in the shells is fantastic compost in the garden. All right. Here we got this lovely big male that we got yesterday. That one's a ripper for the uh, steamer. Nice big claws. They're all full. Push them in here to see if they're full or not. Alrighty, we'll split this one up. Off come the gills. If you get a really big one, you might have to cut it down here with a knife. These ones.
that's it. All our crabs are cleaned up. We've got a nice um, colander full of crab ready to go in the steamer. We're going to see if that water's hot and we'll go and put her on. So here we are, we've got our uh, colander full of crabs broken up, ready for steaming. I've arranged them around to try to get them to all fit in as neatly as possible so that we can fit more in this colander. This colander just sits nicely across the pot, slots in like that. We've got the water boiling. I'm going to whack the lid on. We'll give these 20 minutes to steam and then we'll be putting them in a nice slurry with salt and our crabs will be ready. We make up a nice slurry to cool our crabs down as soon as they come out of the steamer. The uh, ice slurry will stop the cooking process and will help the meat shrink back inside the shell to make it a lot easier to get the meat out. So the crabs are going to get steamed for 20 minutes and then they'll be into the slurry just for a few minutes just to cool off. We'll put a little bit of salt in. About a tablespoon. Depends how much ice you've got. You don't want it too salty or you'll make the meat too salty. So I just put about this much water in the sink. And I've got our salt. Mix that through before I put the ice in. Half a bag of ice in there. This is a five kilo bag, so about two and a half to three kilos of ice. And we've got one tablespoon of ice. Just, just taste that. It's not crazy, crazy salty. Otherwise, you can make the crabs too salty. Alright, so we've got about five minutes left for the steaming, and then the crabs will be ready to come off. Okay, well, our crabs have pretty much finished steaming. That's what they look like in the pot. Got beautiful red colour. I'll just turn the heat off. This will be very hot. Straight into our ice slurry. give that side a chance to get cool and then we'll flip all the crabs over. You might be thinking why wouldn't you just use ice instead of ice and water and salt? It's because the water has a much greater surface area on the crab and takes the, the heat out of the crab a lot quicker than just ice by itself. Well the ice slurry's had time to work its magic. Now we'll take our crab out, we'll put it back in the colander which is cooled down. We'll just put the crabs in so that they can drain. We'll leave the, the colander with the crabs in it in the bowl that we're going to put them in the fridge and that way it'll keep the crabs out of any juice that leak out of the crabs. That the seat helps to keep them nicer. Right. Pack them in so that they'll fit nicely in the fridge. There we are, we've got our big bowl of crabs ready to process. I'm going to make these into some lovely mud crab dumplings and we'll eat the claws just as a beautiful treat by themselves. Alright. Well it's time to do the least favourite thing with crabs and that's getting the meat out of the shells. But anyway, it's not going to do it itself so let's get stuck in. What we're going to do is to take these claws off Try to just twist them gently, hopefully a big lot of meat will come out of the body with the claw. We'll keep the meat here in the bowl. Shells in here, claws in here. We'll keep working away at it. Right, the back swimmer leg out. Nice chunk of meat there. That comes off nicely. Got the legs, just a little squeeze, get some more meat. And on we go. Until we've got all the crab meat out of this lot of crabs. I'll see you in about half an hour. Here we've got our beautiful crab meat from those crabs, our claws, and the leftover shell. 
It is not a fun job. But anyway, it's what you have to do to enjoy the beautiful bounty of the ocean.